What's up guys, Industry Insider today on this fabulous Thursday before the Baja 1000. The Baja 1000 is gonna be insane this year, so what, 1,275 miles or so. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head over there tomorrow actually, leave and uh, come back on the 22nd, so it's gonna be a pretty gnarly deal. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys very much for joining us. It's gonna be a pretty fun little show. We're gonna have uh, Dustin Battleaxe Jones on, Ryan Edwards from KMC Wheels. We're gonna talk all kinds of stuff. We're gonna talk about the Best in the Desert series, uh, Best in the Desert race that just happened. We'll maybe talk about Baja a little bit. Um, that super thing, cool thing that just got announced this week, that uh, Red Bull, uh, what are they calling it? Sand Scramble out in Glamis. That's gonna be super cool. Tons of dudes signing up for that. Uh, so thank you guys all for joining. Uh, Eric Lemval, John Lewis, uh, Ginsburg Fabrication, look like Dustin joined too, so we'll wait and get those guys signed in. Uh, we're also going to talk about uh, going over to uh, Texplex. So I'm headed to Texplex, unfortunately, when that Red Bull Sand Scramble is on December 11th. That's going to be an insane race over there. It's a 12-hour race at Texplex. Dude, that track's going to be so freaking rough, like probably a quarter of the way through. Who knows what it's going to be like at the end of the race. Uh, so yeah, it'll be pretty rad to, to go out there and check that out. Uh, Mint 400 is coming up. So, um, we'll probably only spend maybe 20, 30 minutes or so talking about all this stuff with the boys. So, uh, once they jump on, we'll see what the de whole deal is and, uh, just have a little bit of fun. Uh, let's see here. E done. Bro, thanks for asking Blake my question, uh, but didn't get an answer. What was the question? We asked him so many questions that night. Uh, so we just, uh, what he's talking about is he's talking about the Blake Wilkie interview that we did. Uh, when was it? Monday night and uh dude it was so rad uh that dude is so chill uh looks like we got Ryan Edwards over here let me view this request so we'll get Ryan on and then uh we'll also get Dustin Jones on here to see if he uh this new Instagram Ryan Yo. how are you you know I'm out here hey look same bike same bike oh you, let's see yours oh look at that Shit. Black, I got both. Oh, you got the you got the 450L though, dude. I'm oh yeah, yeah. That that's a flex right there. Dude, hard. Uh so E Dunn said, Oh, if he was coming to Silver Lake. Yeah, he never he kind of skirted that question, didn't he? Let me see if uh Dustin Battle X Jones is uh was right Jim here. waiting for us to just log on or something? Who? James. He was like the first one on there. I don't know. Is he all into it? Nah, he must be. <laughs> Big Dune guy, he heard out that Red Bull uh, Sand Scramble is coming. He's just trying to get info. I'm holding out. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> keep that to yourself. I did get some some info behind the scenes from some of our users, so I want to talk about it. We'll get Dustin Battleax Jones. Dustin! Up, boy? Same hat team. What up, man? Hey, man. Dude, who, who was the guy? There was like a KMC one that was like two shows ago or something. You guys both wore the same. Was it you guys that were? Yeah, the it was us. What? We <laughs> called each other. <laughs> I hear Ryan's uh -oh. gonna be somewhere, but I gotta I gotta wear my uh my sponsor gear. You know what I mean? Yeah, you and Camo go well together. And Ryan will call you out, bro. He is not scared to let you. Oh, go. I'm not scared. I hey, know how much these hats cost? So you see these things? Black. <laughs> oh, camo, see son. that? Now we need some of them. Black camo, son. Oh, that's black camo. That's Gucci. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. We we looking fresh over here with the white the white trim. Hell yeah! You fit in great out there. <laughs> you fitting great out here with with some bat black camo like that. Hey, what are you up to right now, Dustin? We're actually sitting in this super hood parking lot in this crackhead motel. Are you ever not traveling? Bro, we always doing something crazy, dude. <laughs> always doing some nonsense. So we just stopped at the side of the road to jump on the call. We're finna go meet some buddies though. Hey, can oh so you're in Louisiana? Yeah, yeah, I'm back home. All right, I'm let's uh Let's jump into it real quick then. So you guys just had a Best in the Desert race this past weekend. Uh, Ryan, we know you You were already telling me at lunch your race went like shit. Yeah, my race went shit. <laughs> Both so, numbers, bro. Both I'd like numbers. to forget about it. Well, what happened, though? Give the fans what they want. Uh, I broke a motor mount on Saturday, fixed it, drove all over, fixed it, went out Sunday, half a lap in, grenaded the transmission. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I was not happy. I wonder what happened to you. I didn't see you coming by uh, very much on either yeah. race. We saved bits for both laps. Well, what, what started happening on the first one, 
my uh, I started popping fuses, chassis fuses. So I think the motor mount was broken already, yeah. and the motor was like slapping. And I finally was just like, I can't keep doing this. And we pulled off, and then somebody saw the motor just shaking like crazy. So they, we knew we broke the motor mount. Yeah. And there's a ground wire near there too, isn't there? Yeah. So I think just all the vibration and stuff. It, it would the drive shaft was hitting like the cross member, and then obviously Sunday we get it all fixed and. I think it probably messed up something in the transmission. Hey, where was that race at? Cal City. Beautiful place. Yeah. <laughs> That's what everybody says. Amazing hey, uh, area. Really, really nice. For sure. <laughs> Phoenix, a lot going on there. Yeah. Dustin's like, I came to California for this. <laughs> Dude, it's a long drive. to the same crackhead town that I live around. Where, where did you guys stay at? Your house you rented was like in the hills. Oh yeah, dude. We stayed in Tehensipi or something. Oh, Tehachapi. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so we got an Airbnb over there, and it was super over there. Yeah, that's a that's a nice area. Hey, so Dustin, I don't like. I didn't watch the race. I didn't get any insight. The only insight I got was that Ryan was mad at lunch because he had a. Shoot. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't a good day to go to lunch on Monday. No. What um what was all the, the stuff that happened with because you were in a tight battle, right? For the championship? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. who was that with? Mitchie? No, it was uh Piplick with Ryan Piplick. Oh Piplick, okay. Dude, and what what's happened now is just absolutely insane, dude. You wouldn't believe it. So it's gonna be a little bit of a long story. I'll try to abbreviate it a little bit. So <laughs> hit hit me. First day. We were, I don't know, the the next to last race. We were right before the trophy trucks. Everything got a little backed up, so we were a little late to get started. Yeah, I was like 45 minutes, I think, yeah. they were behind. Yes, and so while we were staging and pulling up to the line, they decided they wanted to change the race course. Oh, that's right, yeah. They and wanted so to shorten mile it. 16, yep. you turn left on a gravel road, straight up. right, and go back onto the race course. Mm-hmm. At mile 20 or something like that. Yeah. yeah. They decided they wanted to cut four miles off the course where you turn left at mile 16 and you go straight to 20 and you skip 16 through 20. Right. Which all was like a wash section, like super. Yeah, it was a pretty technical section. Yeah. So they decided this did not tell any of the racers. Hey, Ryan Piplick just joined. Should we have him jump in? Ryan, if you, uh, if you know how to log in on the Instagram. Jump in and talk with us, too. Ooh, right. it's getting good. Yeah, it's getting good. <laughs> All right, Dustin, so what happened? And so uh, we get there. There's a flagman out there. We make the left. Then we make the right onto the course and keep racing, run our normal race. There was no flagging saying wrong way or we changed no. this. And so we ran four extra miles. We were the only team that ran four extra miles. And so you we did every lap. You didn't take the shortcut. I didn't take the shortcut. Oh, I took the actual shit. race. I took the actual race course where everybody else took the shortcut. Oh, so, dude. I, I didn't know until we came around for our second lap and we caught a car and it was like that Vito, I forget his last name, but it was Vito. And then we could see Guthrie in front of him. And I was like, how did these dudes get in front of us? They never passed us. Oh. So we get back to mile 16 and both of them turned left. And then there's wrong way signs up now. So, right. I'm like, oh, this is how these cars got in front of us. I was like, no freaking big deal. We'll let them know. We didn't deviate from the race course. We'll let them know. So we got finished with the first day. We came in there. Obviously, I was pretty, like, amped up about it because we ran an extra four miles on the actual race course. So we pulled up there. Brian Folks is there. He said, don't worry about it. We already know what happened. Our guy was out there messing around. You you know, you took the race course. We're going to credit you that time. I said, cool. No problem. That's awesome. And so going into that night, we checked, and uh, I've got a screenshot of times. They corrected our time. David Clay knew exactly to the second how much time it was. He credited us that time. So I was like, cool, we're good. We were first overall going into day two. Right. When we got there for day two, they decided they wanted to take the time back from us. What? Yes, dude. So going into day two, I was like, cool, everything's fair. We ran super hard the first day. We beat everybody overall with that credited when we get there it's like hey man just want to make sure everything's cool before we go to staging like no it's not cool we're taking that time back it's your fault for staying on the race course you should have made should have gone left right that's like black black no take back dude i feel like so so we went into the second day third and uh and ryan pitlick ended up beating us for the championship so um 
we had to start farther back in the pack, and, uh, ran behind Vito for most of the day, and uh, we lost on time. Dude, that's crazy. What a way to, like, I mean, you got to feel decent about your times. Uh, hey, so we got uh, Brian. Brian joining us from Texplex. What's up, dude? How are you? What's up, guys? My dude just yeah. sliding in. Yeah, he's yeah. just sliding in. Sliding into talk, the DMs. Got to talk about Texplex, though, because I'm coming out to see you soon, dude, next Ooh, month. George. Tex-Mex, I know, finally. knows your style, buddy. Huh? Tex-Mex is not going to hold up for you. Oh, Tex Mex or Tex Flex? Yeah. This dude says Tex Mex. No. <laughs> Tex Flex. I, dude, okay. So I I'm, do I'm looking out for George's taco. This, time, the first right? time I did go to Tex Flex, I did get some Tex Mex and it was complete dog shit. Like, I, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, so Ryan, Ryan does have a foot to stand on here, Dustin. This sucks. <laughs> Yeah, dude, there's some of those restaurants over there around Tex Flex that you, you just look at, you get that just by yeah. looking at the Oh, place. no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> uh, so we had a couple things we wanted to talk about, so I don't want to get too long-winded here, but uh, we'll come back to what you were talking about, Dustin, with the best of the desert stuff. Yeah. Are you going to race Tex Flex, Dustin? Uh, I'm going to be out there. So, Brian, I haven't told you this yet, but because of what uh, best of the desert just did to me, I'm going to be out there at your park celebrating that weekend. Oh, surprise, surprise. That's yeah. what I'm talking about, buddy. So I'll be there for it. Yeah. So yeah. that was like the um I that was the open invite. I wanted that was like the dream team to have you and Georgie in there talking about the race. Bro, we're there, man. We're there. We're all right. Been there giving it the people's elbow all week. Dude, hey, if awesome. we got service, hey, we should go live, dude. Good service, go live. You already know. Yeah. You already yeah, know. Yeah, do it. Uh, so that would be pretty I'm cool. pumped now. I'm really pumped. I'm even more excited than what we got going on now. Oh, uh, uh, Edward said his Wi-Fi just took a shit, so we're just going to have to talk about Texplex. Uh, so uh, <laughs> the race is on the same weekend as that Red Bull Sand Scramble, uh, but, dude, I'm pumped to come out, man. It's going to be so fun out there. Yeah, this is the first I heard about the Sand Scramble. I just saw it a couple days ago. I don't know if they've had it I planned saw, or what, yeah. but... I literally saw it today. I was like, oh, man, it looks cool, but what a way to put it on the same date. That sucks for everybody else. Yeah, it does kind of suck for everybody. I mean, a lot of people come out from the West Coast for this race, and it's, you know, we're already sold half the spots for this race already, so it's going to be huge. Hey, did you race it last year, Dustin? Um, No, I went out there and pitted with uh, actually my co-driver, and so I pitted for everybody last year. I helped the Millers change some parts on their cars during the race, so that was just – a fun race for me to hang out and just be a part of. Yeah, so it'll be cool. Uh, are you going to race this year then? I don't think so, man. I want to just go out there and have a good time. I've had a full year of racing, dude. I've raced a bunch this year, and I just want to hang out with you and Brian and just enjoy the racing, you know? Dude, Brian, you can probably uh, vouch for what Dustin just said because you've seen him traveling so much. Dude, I've seen him on the West Coast more than I've seen some of my West Coast friends. <laughs> Yeah, he's been out there a bunch this year. I noticed that. He, he missed the last few rounds with us out at the Outlaw Series. Every yeah. time I make sure yeah. I hit him up, be like, man, we miss you out here. Bro, it makes me feel so good to hear from you guys, and I love being out there for that, man. Like, that's that's my fun getaway, you know. These desert races yeah. are tough, take a lot, and there's some obligations. But going to Texas Place, man, is just fun to be a part of that place. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh, we had a great year. We really did. I'll bring you guys some Dirt Life swag, too. Uh, all right, Brian, thanks for coming on and joining us, dude. I'm going to have a couple questions for Dustin, and then uh, Edwards doesn't look like he's going to join us, and then uh, we'll just hit the road and uh, come see you in Texas after Baja. Sounds good, boys. You all have fun. Hey, buddy. Right, see you see in a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and I know you're trying to get on the road again, Dustin, but uh, so kind of continue along with that story, man. So that was like – I don't want to say that's a dirty move because you got to respect the way that they make decisions and stuff. I mean, it is what it is. It's a racing yeah. organization. You're going to race it next year, I'm sure, too. So, like, what what's the plan, like, moving forward? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's a tough, it's a tough spot right now because there's a lot, obviously, on the line whenever you're running for a championship in regards to what Can-Am is expecting. Um, obviously, they know everything that happened and how it transpired. And so uh, – I don't know. We got to have some talks next week with Cam about what we're going to do next year. Um, so, yeah, it's a tough deal, dude. It's it's a really weird thing, especially to change the course and not tell the racers, and then uh, for me to get penalized the way I did for actually taking the race course. It, it's tough, man. It's tough, especially yeah. uh, excluding there being a championship on the line and the triple crown on the line. Excluding all of that, just as a normal heads up race, it's tough to. Uh, 
it's tough to go through something like that. And, and, and especially for it to be so simple, David Clay told them exactly the time that they needed to credit us. They could have been like, cool, no problem. David tracks it. That's what we got him for. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. And so people that don't know that racing tracks is the transponder, or the uh, timing system. So, yeah. um, that is kind of crazy, man. And like, I don't know, you know, I have no relation to your team. I don't know any of these people, but I kind of feel like you got dirt done dirty. Like, I feel like I got done dirty just by hearing the story. It does suck. Man, a lot of people have said that, and I've been trying to look at it objectively, like, all right, what decision would have been the right decision? And the conversation that Brian and I had at the finish line where he said, don't don't worry about it. We're good. We know what the time was. We're credited. And they, in fact, credited me the time because it was on their website. And so it was it was all confusion, you know? And so a lot of people have said, similar to what you have, is like, man, it seems like you got done dirty on this deal. But it is what it is, man. Racing happens, and it's tough. A lot of tough decisions. I was just surprised for them to make a decision like that. Yeah, exactly. But that just means that you can make uh, decisions proactively a little bit better for your team in the future. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, all right. So, did you see? Uh, I know you're not going to be able to make it out there, but I just want to talk about the little Red Bull uh, sand scramble thing real quick. That looks super cool, dude. What they're doing? What is this? The third one this year, or something like that? The third scramble. Yeah, but in Glamis, do yeah. you know how? People are stacked and like I got so many messages today. People are like, "Yep, we're going." I already signed up for it, dude. And it's a great idea because it's so like uh, viewer friendly, or people can come out there and watch and find a dune to park on. Man, the team. So, I got a little bit of an inside scoop from one of our uh, one of our fans today. Let me make sure I, I give him credit for what the, uh, what he said. So uh, Mike Ak- Akins Akins uh, said that the track is going to be near Osborne Lookout, so it's going to be kind of down, so all those people can just watch on the top. That's good. So that'll be a good viewing area, man. That'll be super cool. Yeah, I think it'd be super cool. So uh, maybe next year that would be something cool to do. And KMC is going to be a part of that, so it'd be rad to see all those guys out there. Um, all right, man. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you out in Texas. So you guys aren't going to go down to Mexico. Is anybody you know going to go down to Mexico? Just guys that we race with. So none of our guys from here are going down there. You know, Whelan's down there in the hunt, uh, Austin Whelan, and then yep. uh, down there in the hunt. Matt Burrows is going to make a run at it this year. He's been doing pretty good. He won the championship last year. He's chasing that 1,000. So, man, just all friends of ours that we race with, you know. Yeah, exactly. We got a bunch of comments coming in saying, uh, keep your head up. You know, you're doing an awesome job and all that stuff. So uh, thank you to all you guys for commenting and giving Dustin uh, a little bit of a pat on the back as well. Um, All right. So the only last thing I wanted to talk about before you get on the road again was uh, that just like you had, I mean, the side-by-side racing has gotten so fierce in the last, I mean, dude, compared to last year, how insane it is now, like, when you go to the races and you line up at the starting line, like what's your vision of like, is it just checkers or records the whole time? It is now. So it didn't used to be that way. You know, just a couple of years ago, it was a matter of keeping the car together and, and getting to finish line. And what's insane is that it's no longer that type of racing. The cars will hold up, you yeah. know, them harder than we used to. They're more capable than we used to. And it's literally who's willing to run the cars the hardest. So, like whenever I I ran uh, the first day of, of Cal City, I thought to myself, "There's no way the car is going to hold up to this," and so we were dri- driving at like eighty or ninety percent capacity on the race course, which is never the case in in uh, desert racing. So it's just trans. It's just uh uh like progressed to that. When you got to Texas, West, you're not at a hundred percent. You don't have a chance out there. Yeah, I was gonna say for twelve freaking hours, man. Yeah. Gosh, dude. Those dudes push so, hard out there for that race. So uh, who's going to be racing out there from your guys' S3 Power Sports group? Uh, Dustin, uh, my co-driver, is teaming up with a guy. Uh, two of our guys from the shop that have been racing for a while is running out there. And then we have Corey Willis that runs one of our chassis. The Miller brothers, they both run our chassis. And then a bunch of guys, a bunch of our sponsored suspension guys are out there running. So, dude, cool. that's rad, man. For any big uh, UTV shop, that's squad goals right there, dude. For me, it is too, man. Especially to see our chassis do well. You know, the Millers won it last year. Went one and two in our short course chassis. Yep. So, uh, man, they've always got a they've always got a good shot. You know, and they went one and two for the championship this year in our chassis. Yeah, I saw that. They've been doing a killer job, man. Those guys work hard. Yep. All right, homie. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Really appreciate it. Drive safe. And, uh, well, I'm going to say congratulations because I still think you're the big one. I love Ryan Pitlick, but I still think you're the big winner here. Bro, you're my man. I always appreciate that, dude. All right, homie. We'll see you at Texplex. All right, cool, man. Thank you. Yeah.
man, it's 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 a bummer to hear that stuff, right? But it's also super cool to hear the uh, I don't know what you want to call it, the resilience that he has, and people like him that are racers that still just have their head up, dude. It's so rad. So uh, keep your guys head up, stay up uh, all this weekend, have some fun. If you guys want, slide into our DMs. Uh, we can, we're going to have so much good Baja content coming out uh, in the next week and a half here, two weeks. Um, so we're going to go have some fun down there, eat some tacos. Uh, yeah, and if you guys are going out to Texplex, come hang out with us. Tell us how your sand race is, all that good stuff. We love you guys. Dirt Life Show uh, coming at you next week. See ya.